Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. <clears throat> Today we will study document 7 which is immunological uh, memory. Uh, before we start <clears throat> uh, this lesson, uh, we have to define two major concepts which are the primary immune response and the secondary, the secondary immune response. The primary immune response occurs when an antigen comes in contact to the immune system for the first time. Whereas the secondary immune response occurs when the second time uh, or third, fourth, etc. the person is exposed to the same antigen. You know, when an antigen enters the first time, it called the immune response against this antigen is called the primary. The subsequent entry of the same antigen is called secondary. In this experiment, or in this lesson, uh, we have to study the characteristics of the secondary immune response compared to the primary immune response. Here we have uh, an experiment. Uh, experiment number one, we have injection of tetanus toxin into a rabbit. Uh, we notice that there is a death of the rabbit and there is no secretion of antibodies, anti-tetanus antibodies. By significance, uh, we can conclude that tetanus toxin is fatal uh, toxin. In the second experiment, we have another rabbit which is injected by tetanus toxoid. Tetanus toxoid, you have to know that toxoid is an attenuated toxin, يعني مخفف. Attenuated toxin, we know that there is survival and there is secretion of antibodies which takes one week in order to increase and it reaches approximately 1.2 AU as a maximum uh, level then it decreases again this rabbit is injected another time after six months by tetanus toxin which is fatal uh, which is fatal toxin but we notice that the rabbit did not die but it's still alive uh, by significance if we compare it to the two experiments one and two in without previous injection of tetanus toxoid in experiment one uh, toxin is fatal whereas uh, with previous injection of uh, when tetanus toxin is preceded by toxoid there is no death we can conclude that the attenuated toxin which is toxoid eliminates the virulent effect of uh, virulent toxin is in the attenuated toxin eliminates the fatal effect of virulent one right, now we have to compare the amount of antibodies secreted in the primary and in the secondary immune response here Horn, horn. In the primary immune response, the antibodies needs one week in order to increase, which is called lag time, whereas in the second time it needs three days. So the second immune response is faster than the primary. Is and the first characteristic of the secondary immune response uh, is that it is faster than the primary. Uh, to verify this uh, point, you have to compare the lag time between uh, the two, which is the time needed to secrete antibodies. This is the first characteristic. The second characteristic, uh, uh, we have to compare the maximum amount of antibodies secreted. In the primary immune response, the maximum antibodies secreted is 1.2 AU, whereas in the secondary immune response, uh, uh, this, the maximum amount approximately 3 AU which means that the secondary immune response is 3 times greater than that of the primary the amount of antibodies uh, the, so the second characteristic is that the antibodies uh, is that the secondary immune response is more amplified than the primary immune uh, response we have another characteristic is that the secondary immune response is more persistent more persistent and antibodies remains for more time in the in the body uh, 
to explain this point uh, here we have this dotted line this is called threshold threshold amount of antibodies which means that uh, below this level the antibodies uh, is not efficient or are not efficient or cannot protect our body above this level the antibodies can protect our body uh, here we have in the primary immune response from 15 to 28 we have 13 days so the antibody remains 13 days protecting our body whereas in the secondary immune response here 5 here 35 so the antibodies remains 30 days protecting our body is in for uh, for this reason the secondary immune response is more persistent or more durable and it protects the body for more time since the amount of antibody is larger and need more time in order to be uh, degraded is in the three characteristics of the secondary immune response is that the secondary immune response is faster more amplified and uh, more persistent and you have to know how to uh, justify each uh, point and at the cellular level at the cellular level uh, in the primary immune response if the immune response is a humoral uh, this is uh, B lymphocyte in the primary it makes clonal expansion some of the cells become memory while the other differentiate into short-lived plasma cells that secrete free antibodies as we discussed previously and in the second immune response you have to know that the memory cells are the cells that uh, makes clonal expansion uh, since their number is greater than the naive B lymphocyte uh, these memory cells makes also clonal expansion into memory and plasma cells again that also secrete free antibodies if you compare the number of effector cells or plasma cells in the secondary and the primary you notice that the primary the secondary immune response the number of, of plasma cells are much greater than that of uh, primary immune response which means that they have the ability to secrete more and um, more antibodies uh, and this explains why the secondary immune response is more amplified it's more per, it's more uh, fast or faster than the primary since the clonal expansion or mitosis of memory cells is much faster than that of a naive B lymphocyte okay